What's good, YouTube? Nobody here. Welcome to episode three of our modded series. Now, in in between, I went ahead and built all of this extra stuff around here, basically just getting a structure to the base. That way, we can move forward. There's a couple things I need to do before we get started on our first ship. I'm going to need to expend the piston system that we've got running here, so we can get a little bit more iron in. Otherwise, we'll be a little bit short. We're going to need to increase some battery. Hour. So I've gone ahead and placed a couple and we'll get those put together before we get started on the ship. I want to go ahead and use our extra mod that we've got here, which is the, the build and repair system here. So if I just type build, okay, there we go. This right here, we're going to go ahead and put in, we're going to put one right here. Now the thing is before we do this, before we get it turned on and everything, we want to get some color set up because we don't want to build the whole base here now I know that a couple of you have made comments about this one not being as overpowered as necessary or as hard to build as necessary and I agree it's way too easy to build this one if you're going for a challenge series at all and you want challenge instead of ease like this playthrough is gonna be uh, such as like in my pirate challenge that I'm doing I definitely recommend not using the nanobot build and repair system i recommend using nanite uh, i believe it's control facility or something like that that has a lot more progression to it that's a lot harder to build and things like that now for this series i'm perfectly fine using build and repair system because this is all about making things a little more automated and more fun to deal with instead of just worrying about making it super hard if you want to see a super hard series, I just finished recording episode one of my pirate playthrough. So that's going to be an interesting series, to be honest. So check that out. We're going to be basically working a little bit more towards making it harder on that one. We're not allowed to mine anything. Uh, we The only thing I'm allowing to myself to mine on that series is ice. And maybe just maybe uh, I messed up we may end up mining a little bit more such as magnesium but that would be about it everything else has to be taken from NPCs we're gonna be using modular encounter spawner and a bunch of other stuff like that so if you're interested in more of a challenge playthrough definitely watch that one the first video should have been released Saturday I believe this one will be releasing on looks like Monday so no, Tuesday. So the Pirate series has already been released. When you see this video, go ahead and check that out. I'll go on and link up the playlist in the upper right hand corner now. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and build this. So I'm just going to queue up the components here and get this thing built. When I get this built, I've got to do a little bit of coloration. I'll explain all of that. That way you'll understand what's going on here. And then we're going to get this guy right here working better. Uh, the only thing we want to actually build that we got set up before are these batteries over here. So we're going to actually have to come up with what's called an ignore color for build and repair and paint the whole base that color. And then we can go from there. So I'm just waiting for the pieces. And let's see. Go on and get this started up and check in on our production here looks like we probably got enough for production so that's perfectly fine we're just gonna have to wait a minute so i'll be right back with you when that gets done okay so now we're getting the building repair system built we need to immediately go into the building repair system to make sure it is cut off so okay it's cut off we're good now what we want to do here is we want to pick a weird color that we're not going to use very much so i'm just going to pull out the light armor block here and i'm going to hit the bracket keys to cycle through colors something that we'll never use in our build so let me look through here i think i'm not going to be using this red so whatever you choose for yourself is perfectly fine but if you go back into to the control panel here so for build and repair you can go in and set pick current build color for use ignore color make sure this is ticked and if you pick current build color then it'll pick whatever color you currently have for ignoring 
building so basically if we paint the whole base this color right now it won't actually change color or anything some things might that are already built but uh we'll get in we'll fix that later but if you pick that color and then you hit, hit control shift and middle click it paints the entire base that color so now that we've got that set up the entire base is being ignored being ignored so we can just actually cut this on and it should just do a little bit of stuff that's not really connected to the base that's through um say uh like this stuff over here should get done and a couple things up top should get done things that aren't connected are to the subgrid basically this right here is not connected to the subgrid so it's actually going to do that which is perfectly fine because that's what we want to do anyway and then there's some stuff up here let me get there uh yeah this stuff right here this will get built too so you'll see it in action but that's all that's going to get built right now and then we can just paint whatever we want to uh actually build a different color and it'll start painting it so or it'll start building it so we're going to go on toggle block on here and in order to create the items that we want to create we're going to put another this will allow us to actually build items as we need them i think Actually, I don't think that matters anymore, does it? Okay, so our production... Okay, yeah, that's right. Our, uh, we need to build us another programmable block here. So we're just going to put that on our bar. And we're going to change the color of this one so it'll get built ASAP. Uh, we're going to go with, say, white. Because I think the overall base is going to be white. So we're going to pl place that as soon as we get us a steel plate here. So we're going to produce a steel plate. And hopefully it doesn't get taken. Well, yeah, it's going to get taken. Okay, so let's go ahead and produce a few steel plates. That way we can find where they're being made. And take a couple. There we go. And we're going to place this down. And go on and get it started up. And it should build this along with that. So let's go ahead and just make up a bunch of steel plates here just so we're sure that we get enough to build those things that are trying to get built. See, it's building the stuff over here. It's building this. It's building the stuff up top. So once we get enough steel plates to finish that up, then we'll be done with our queue there. And then we can start building what we need. As you see, it's building this up, up top here. And I think we're going to have to go with a little bit stronger power generation than these right here so we're probably going to go with more of the wind turbines for this episode i do sooner or later want to get into a full solar array however early game i don't think it's going to be enough power generation until we can build a massive solar array so we'll get into that what we'll do is we'll build us a solar array off in this field here just make it a really big solar array so we can do all the solar stuff from there just to make it look better but for now, we're going to have to go with wind power. Okay, so now that that's done, all I have to do is make sure that I've got my programmable block here queued up. We're not going to have to do this after the programmable block gets done. So we're going to come in here and we're just going to add components from the programmable block. And it should start making the programmable block here. We may need to do this as well. So let's go ahead and add that to the build planner. and come over here we've already queued up that so we're going to get rid of that and then we're going to queue this in there we go so it's just going to build the components it needs for that and then it's going to fill it up i'm going to hop in and get some energy while we're watching that happen and then after that's done it should build the programmable block which will allow us to create exactly what we need in order to build what we're supposed to build there's a script that goes along with the mod that I definitely recommend getting. It'll make it completely automatic, so all you have to do is drop an item. It'll make the items that you need and build the item for you. So I'm going to fast forward on through here until the programmable block done. Okay, apparently I forgot to, uh, or I didn't get that into the build planner. So let's go ahead and queue that up real quick. And there we go. It'll make it as the parts get made. And it's done. So we're going to come in here. We're going to hit edit. 
and we are going to browse scripts here and I'm having that same issue that I had before uh, let's see we are going to find build and repair nanobot build and repair this will allow us to queue everything up so copy to editor and we will check code as usual and hit OK and then there's some stuff right here that we need to make we need to make a repair systems group and an assemblers group so I'm gonna go edit and I'm going to find the exact name that we need we need build and repair group one here so we're gonna select this and we're gonna hit control C back out of here and then we are going to take our build and repair system here and we're going to put that into that group so that tells them what groups to go for so you can actually set different groups for different things we'll get into that later once we get more of these built but now that that's done we need to go back in and let's see go back to the can programmable block two here Yeah, programmable block two. We're gonna edit this, and then we're gonna come through here, and we're gonna see see the system queuing groups here. We're gonna have to find that, and we're going to okay, right here. Building, we should have a list right here. Assembler group one. This is the one that we're gonna take here. We're gonna copy that and exit out of here again, and then we're gonna come through and find our assembler here. Now we're going to add this to that group that lets it know that's the the assembler group and as soon as we save this it should start making everything that we need which we don't have anything queued up right now so that's perfectly fine now all we have to do is come through here find the block that we want to build so we're going to say okay we want to build these batteries right so let's go ahead and get down on one of these batteries here and we're going to repaint them one two and three three now that we've repainted those everything should kick in and start building those there we go so we've got those three batteries being made we've got four batteries here and five batteries total which we're going to need when we get our ship up and running because it's going to need to basically do its thing i'm going to go on and repaint all the stuff that we've got here because i don't like the red not for this playthrough anyway I'm just going to go on and paint all of this real quick while it's building all of that and I'll be back with you. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I want to go ahead and get rid of these things. So in order to do that, let's go into the build and repair. We can actually give it a grind color as well. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to come back into the control panel here. We're going to look down here for, uh, see that's for welding. And if you come down, there should be for grinding as well. Yeah. So we can use dr grinding color. We can choose another color for grinding. So let's go ahead and change our colors around here. Let's grind this green color. Uh, we're gonna come back through here, do the same thing with scrolling on down to find grinding and we're gonna pick current build color. And then all we have to do to grind something is repaint it. And it'll grind this stuff down, hopefully. It's going to weld before grinding, so it's going to finish up all the welding stuff that it's got to do before it starts grinding. You can set it up to grind before weld if you want to, and in fact, we're about to, just to show you that. So we're going to come through here, we're going to find our build and repair system, and we're going to set it to work mode. We're going to say grind before weld, and we're going to also set this to fly mode just to make sure that it can always get to what it needs to. So it's going to grind these down, and then it's going to re-weld or use these parts to weld anything that it needs to weld. You can add more of these systems in and it makes things a lot easier in the long run. Uh, let's get back to the correct color here. We want white for the base and start painting the rest of the base up that we're gonna keep. Watch this, it's even gonna pick that cobalt and get up. That's the cool part about this. It will actually pick up anything that you do. Like if I was to go just drill a bunch of uh, rock down in the bottom, it'll pick that up as well. 
so we're gonna leave that we're gonna grind this and we're gonna grind all of this down so let's go ahead and use this system to do what we wanted to do so we're gonna go back to our grind color here we're gonna grind that out that that and that it'll grind that whole system down and then we can just replace it actually let's change the color for this because I don't want to grind that let's go back to white I actually wanted to add to that so we're gonna have to put in another piston head here and then we're going to reverse this piston all the way up and we're just gonna make it negative 0.5 just to speed this up we're going to go ahead control middle click here to cut off the rotor all we have to do is rotor lock on bring the piston head back up or bring the piston back up and then we can add another piston to this piston so let's see adding this piston and I need some plates so let me go grab a plate or two do we have any made still I hope so that's the one thing about this is it'll go on and use whatever you have that you've pulled apart like this so let's do that and we can add a drill and we're basically going to do the same exact thing we did before here just to get extra pieces and parts so we're going to place this guy here and we're going to send him straight down once this gets built that'll build on its own so we're not too worried about that and then we can go move forward i'm going to continue to paint real quick just to get all of this stuff white now that we've got that done and i'll be back with you all right now we've got a minor little problem here we do not have enough materials i believe in order to create what we need to so yeah we're short some iron some silicon and some nickel now here's a trick we can do remember we've got the build and repair i'm trying to avoid having to make any more trips for iron so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna come down here and i'm just going to start drilling this out just like we were picking it up and it will pick it up itself and continue what it's got to do so we can just dig wherever we want and it'll pick up all the junk and it'll start processing it for us build and repair makes things so much easier as you see it's picking up all of this stuff here and making what it needs to as you hear okay it's going to finish these batteries up first i'm just going to continue drilling for a minute or two until it finishes all this up okay i went ahead and moved the battery components to the back of the line here that way we can go ahead and get all we need for this drill so we should be able to get the drill running again very shortly and then we can automatically pick stuff up okay so we're running into a problem here where we don't quite have enough so i'm going to use an old trick that i used to use um let's see i'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff together and i'm going to move it all into the assembler and i'm just going to disassemble everything we have here that way we've only got what we need built and we can keep our raw materials this is just something whenever you need it quick or whatever uh, i don't necessarily recommend doing this all the time early game this kind of helps out a little bit i've had people in the past that actually brought up the fact that this is very energy inefficient and i agree with that however sometimes the ends justify the means so that's basically why we're doing like we are here. So I'm just moving everything down into the assembler so I can disassemble it. Once I get it in here, I'll go to production, disassembling, disassemble all. That'll give us all these raw materials back so we can keep building what we need to and it'll build exactly what it needs to at the end. That way we don't have any spare parts left over that we don't need. It's better for resources to do it this way. It's not power efficient, but it's more resource efficient. Okay, looks like we're done and it'll queue up what it needs to as it goes so we're fine with that hopefully if we can just get this drill made before these batteries get taken care of and we can get the drill built we're good to go because then we can pick up more resources so i'm gonna let it work on the drill for a minute and i'll be right back with you all right and we are good we now have our drill built so i'm just gonna go ahead and get it started again and go ahead 
set these to share inertial tensors. That way we can stop the wobble. And then I'll increase each one of these at the, let's go on and choose both of them here. And we can increase them at the rate of 0.1 meters per second. Nice and slowly. That way we don't over jam the drill there. And then we're just gonna get some power while we wait. And we basically got what we need to build what we need to build now. So I'm gonna extend this drill one more time or two more times before it's over with, just like we did before with the spinny and all of the fun stuff there. But that'll probably get us enough material to where we can build our ship so we can go on and get started on that as soon as this finishes up. And one other thing we're gonna have to worry about here is power generation, because as of now, we do not have nearly enough power for what we need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start building way up here. I'm gonna start building us a uh, system to where we can get a lot more power So for wind generation. So we're gonna have to go down about three here, three here. Yeah, right here is good. And we're going to start adding more of these turbines here. And that means we're going to need some interior plates real quick. There we go. Grab these up. And we're going to have to go extend our drill, I believe, as well. So we'll get to that just as shortly as we can. I basically want to get it to where all of our batteries are fully charged before we ever build our ship. There we go. That should be enough wind clearance for everything, and I can build another one off this side if I feel if I need to. Uh, let's see. We're gonna go ahead, come in here, make sure. See how far are we from finishing our battery? Okay, looks like we just finished up the battery. Good. That means anything left over is left over. Uh, so hopefully we've got enough to where we can do our drill system again. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the drill back up. And I'm going to group these two pistons together too. Uh, see rock pistons. That way I can just easily reverse them. And we're going to go at point. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of him. Once that's gone, we can go and just add in the extra stuff that we need so we can drill off to the side here. Which, honestly, may... Oh, no, it shouldn't be an issue. So, change our color here to white. boom and then add our drill back have it rebuild all of this for us and then we can start spinning it and turn the drill back on okay it looks like everything's all built up here so i'm going to turn the drill back on and start it spinning again and go grab some hydrogen before I fall out of the sky here. See, where are the hydrogen? There we go. And then we can start the pistons back and be good. So we're just gonna grab rock pistons here. We're gonna go boop and point one. There we go. Actually, we need to go point zero five for this. We need it pretty slow here because we want to give it 0 0.021, something like that. We want it to go pretty slow here because uh, the, that would be rock pistons. We're going to go point zero one just to make them absolute certain that it's got time to clear it before it moves down. That way we're not accidentally drilling too quickly and we're good to go okay so we can pretty much just sit here for now and let this do what it's got to do 
uh, let it build up a little bit of power and all of that stuff. So let's see, I'll keep an eye on our power consumption here. Uh, let's see, fully recharged in two hours. We could speed that up. I'll probably go ahead and add another round of wind turbines over here. And then we'll see where we're at from there because we're only inputting about half a megawatt. We can do up to four megawatts input or 12 megawatts input. So we could build a lot more. It's gonna take a while to recharge these. So let me get to making a few more of these guys. Okay, I added a few more wind turbines there. So that'll give us another five wind turbines to add to the power generation. It's still probably not gonna be enough to speed us up that much, but it's gonna be better than nothing. I'm gonna let this run for a little while, uh, probably go AFK for a bit, let the power charge up and let it do its thing. I'll give you guys a quick little time lapse of these being built and I will be back with you. And we're back. So I messed around with the drills a little bit to uh, get them to pick up a little bit of extra. And we've been sitting around letting some power generate. We are getting pretty good on our battery charge. We're not at quite 50% across the board yet, I don't think. So we've got a little bit of time before they fully recharge. But this should be enough to handle the thing we're about to do. At least until we can get a reactor running. So we should be okay right now. We're probably going to slowly be draining energy, but it's not a big deal. Uh, what we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and get our first mining rig going. This will be able to go out and auto mine uh, iron ore and things like that for us. We're actually going to use this to start with to drill out a section here like a hangar bay. And it's gonna be an underground hangar bay. Uh, just cause I like underground stuff, it looks better to me. And we're gonna go in and block in all of this. And it's gonna be pretty interesting, I think. For some reason, I like to do, to build underground. I just think it's more fitting for a large base to be built underground than above ground. That's really all there is to it. So we're just gonna continue to add some drills here. So we've got one drill. We're gonna need quite a few of them here. Uh, let's see. I need to grab the conveyor. I need the small conveyor right here so I've done some tests in the past and uh The spacing between these is two on the side and three In between like this uh, Let's see There we go. That's the spacing. That's perfect for these drills Wait, oh, no, 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 almost, almost, almost. I believe it was just like this, yeah. You can go one extra forward because of the size of the drill and everything. You notice how the drill's one block wide, or one block by two blocks, or three blocks. And the reason why it works out this way is because of that. So if you set it up like this, you should be able to set up a pretty good solid setup. So if we go back here, we can put actually i don't think that's right i think there was yeah there was one more in between you can put two in between the drills is what it was uh there is a video that i've done to test all of that on video i will go ahead and link that up now just to show you guys if you if you're interested in the research that i did behind that but if we do this right here we should be able to add nine drills total. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm just making sure I've got my nine drills in here. And that would be one, two, and three with a... There we go. And I can add in this drill. And then come back one. Boom, and add in another drill. So nine drills will be plenty for here. It's gonna fill this thing up pretty quickly. 
running nine drills. I'm just using nine drills for the size of them. We're gonna be building a bigger one of these guys later. This is a kind of a vertical miner. I got the idea back when I streamed on Twitch. Uh, the guy who, one of the guys who worked with uh, Pam Auto Miner when I first started using it, or Path Auto Miner when I first started using it, came in to my Twitch stream and started talking. And they basically built the vertical miners specifically for Pam. And I recommend using the path auto or the vertical miner like this because it makes things so much easier to deal with when you're using pam but we're just going to go ahead and get this going there we go and then we can start worrying about sorters and stuff like that now with path auto mining if you do it correctly all you need is sorters and ejectors to get rid of your excess so we're just going to go you don't need to set them up or anything they'll automatically set up for you so we're just going to add sorters to our list here and we're going to need ejectors as well there you go just remember the more of these you have the quicker it will empty so we're going to go set a sorter up here and we want this facing down so let me find the right way there right there and we're going to put one of these in at each one of these junctions that we've got we can actually speed things up by doing this too. Let me get that back down there. Uh, let's see. Did we need all of that? No, we don't. So let's go ahead and get rid of... Okay, we do need that. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so we're just going to add in sorters everywhere that we can here without dropping outside of the ship because like I said the more sorters you have the quicker you can dump things so something right here would be good uh, let's see that's fine and I don't think we've got enough no we won't have enough space to add any more in so we're just going to add an ejector to the end of each one of these sorters so spin this around, boom, add one here, and then add one at the bottom of each of these sorters. This will allow us to dump our either rock or ice or whatever it is that we don't want, which for now, we're going to be picking up the rock. We're not too worried about those, but we're going to want those later when we go in for like raw iron or something like that. So one thing we're going to need on this is going to be batteries. So we're going to go ahead and add in battery. Boom. And let's see, we're going to need at least four batteries. So I'm going to do two here. One, two. And two here. So three, four. There we go. And we're gonna need some sort of cockpit so we can control the thing. We're gonna need a remote control, a sensor, and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go on and get started on that. We're gonna need... We're gonna need a cockpit here. So let's go ahead and add that up top here. I always like to put these on top. And one little block here. There's a reason for that. We're gonna need an LCD screen. So we can get a readout of our PAM system. And I like to move it about a block ahead. That way it's not completely blocked off by the cockpit there. I need to learn to cut my phone off when I'm recording videos. And it's not working. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so while this is building, we'll look around and see what else we need. We're going to need a computer or programmable block. We're going to need a sensor. And 
and at least one gyroscope. So let's go ahead and get those. We got gyroscope. We need a sensor. We need programmable block. And we're going to need a remote control as well because it will not work with that one. There we go. Now, if you're interested in more... Ooh, I'm about to run out of hydrogen. If you're interested in seeing more about Pam than I put into this video, feel free to go check the video out that I'm linking now. It is a basically a mega guide for Pam that I did a few months back there we go now our remote needs to face forward here so we're just gonna face it directly forward all remotes always need this face forward so we're going to set up our block directly below that our programmable block and there's a specific way we want our sensor so I'll hold off on that and we will go ahead and add our gyro right down here in the center now, the way the sensor works is you want it facing in the same direction as your drills. So in this case, that's the way we want it. We want the face basically looking, as you see, we want the face basically looking like the mouth is towards the back end of the drill setup and the, I guess you could call it eyes are up near the front end of the drill setup, but it has to be facing in the same direction as the drills. That's how Pam uses it. So all we have to do now is basically just wait on this guy. Uh, there is something we're going to have to do. Ooh, ooh, I need to move these. Actually, now that I think about it, I need this area open here. So let's get rid of this and get rid of this. We're going to have to move those elsewhere because we will need a connector here. That is a big deal. If we don't have the connector, we can't connect to the base. All right, now we can put those back in. So that was a gyro. And programmable block. I'll just sit those right off to the sides here. There we go. That should be everything that we need. Uh, this will be fully PAM capable. Now we need to worry about our atmospheric thrust thrusters. If I can spell. I'm really bad at spelling in this game, apparently. <laughs> Alright, so uh, there was actually a comment about that in the last video. Um, let's see. About my wrists... Or what was it? My my hands are faster than my eyes, but my hand or my hands will never leave my wrists. Okay, so we're gonna need a lot of thrust in the down direction here because we're gonna be filling this thing full. So we're just gonna go ahead and boom here, here, here. Uh, let's see, go two more out here. I'm going to have to basically work around this stuff here. That way we don't accidentally thrust into them. All right, so do more here. And then we can do here, 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 and here. There we go. I'm just basically leaving any spot that I have something like this running. And I messed something up here. Ooh, I did mess all this up, didn't I? So this is going to be interesting here. I'm going to have to go through and fix all of that. It should look pretty much like that. Uh, oh, wait. No, I didn't. Okay. Or did I? Yes, I did. I need to take off this back row back here. So let's go ahead and just repaint these. Make sure I get the right color here. All right. So we're going to paint that one. And that one, I can grab it. There we go. And that one. And we're going to have to redo this whole section here. So let me make sure nothing's attached. 
Okay, we should be good. We can kick off that, 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 that. I'm just going to rework this real quick and I'll be right back with you. All right, so I got that all reworked. That should be working just fine there. Now that that's done, I need to go ahead and start thinking about forward reverse and all of that stuff here. So let's go ahead and figure out some good spots for these. We don't need too many thrusters in either direction because Pan's gonna be taking care of everything for us. So like one thruster in each direction is perfectly acceptable. If you don't mind it taking a little while, which considering it's gonna be automated, it doesn't really matter how long it takes. So I'm just setting one thruster in all directions here and I'm gonna drop one back here. Let's see, which direction was I going? I think that's the right direction for it. In fact, let's get rid of this one and make sure of it. So all we have to do is spin this one around and we know we're in the right direction there. Okay, so this is everything that we need for our pan system. I'm gonna let this continue to weld up and just come back when it's done. All right, it is done and it's just building this little thing that I built the stand on for the time lapse here. So what we want to do now is first we need to get some energy here. We're going to go ahead and cut this guy loose and we're going to put him in his home position and get him started on mining. And once we get him started mining, we should be good for this episode. We're going to mine this area right in front of the building here. That way we can, here let me show you this area right here that way we can build what we want to build here what i want to do is i want to put an underground hangar like i was saying pretty large underground hangar at that um it's going to be about the size of the building and it's probably going to go down about 30 uh like 30 yards whatever it is uh it's going to be pretty deep and that's where we're going to hide all of our vehicles and stuff like that once it's over with we need to pipe into there which is why i've got these guys so close to the edge here it's also going to block off this section right here, which will work out quite nicely. Give us a nice little section. It's also going to give us tons of building materials. In fact, let me get rid of these guys. I don't need them there. I need the dark green. There we go. Uh, I'll go on and pull these guys off because they don't need to be there. We're actually about to start drilling in that area. And let me get him cut loose. After I get everything set up, let's go ahead and hop inside and we are going to hit the K button here to go into the programmable block. We're going to go ahead and load the PAM system in here. So let's browse scripts. PAM is a script. It's not a mod. So make sure it's under the scripts. I, if I remember, I still haven't remembered to do it on the other videos yet. I'll try to remember to go go ahead and make that mod list up for you guys and put it down in the description. If it's not, somebody yell at me to remind me and I'll do it. Okay, so we're looking for Path Auto Miner. So we just type in Path here. And right here, this is what we're looking for. This one, uh, this will allow us to open doors and stuff. It's really cool. It'll allow us to basically set up um, a way for multiple vehicles to go into one spot uh we'll probably get into that later so i'm not too worried about that one right now we're just going to do the path auto miner here copy to editor um we are going to do the standard check code and okay now that we've got path auto miner in here you notice it's automatically set up here now what we need to do is everything that it's going to be using so like the lcd panel we need to come in and put in this expression uh capital pam inside of brackets to let the path auto miner know what it controls so like remote control here we need to do the same thing this is the smart thing to do especially if you're going to be running multiple setups uh, sensor uh, helps if I don't hold down the shift key there and let's see is there anything else that we need to do we've done the sensor we've done the remote control and the LCD I believe that's everything 
So now that that's done, it knows what it needs to deal with. So as you see, we now have on our LCD screen here, we've got all the path auto minor stuff. So I'm gonna hit the G button and then I'm gonna find the programmable block and I did name it Pam, so it's easy to see in here. Uh, let's see, oh wait, no I didn't. Let me find which one's in here. Okay, this programmable block here and we're just gonna name this one just like we did the rest of them there we go that way we know which one it is and we're gonna go forward and we are going to look up ham here programmable block now we need to put in slot one we're gonna run and this is going to be up and then we're going to <clears throat> in slot two, we're going to run down. In slot three, we're going to run apply. Now, what this does is it allows us to use our buttons to move up and down in the uh, menu, just like it says up, down, and apply. So if we hit down here, you notice it goes down. If we hit up, it goes up. And if we hit apply, which we can't do yet, it'll actually select. So what we're gonna have to do, before we can do that, we need to hop out of here. So I'm gonna hit F. We're gonna have come through here and we are going to release this block. And to do that, I'm just going to do the color thing and let it release it. Boom. <clears throat> so it should cut it loose here. And hopefully we don't fall to the ground when it happens. Are you going to work? Yeah, you worked. Okay, so we are safe here. Now, all we have to do is hop in here, go to our home position. So I'm gonna hit the V key to move out and fly into our home position. Check to make sure everything's good. Yeah, we're good. So I'm gonna come out of here and very carefully position ourselves at home. Now, if you remember, we've already got a spot for this. I'm just going to back through here and shoot up a little bit. That way we don't run into anything. We've already got a spot to connect here. So that's where we're going to connect. So I'm carefully going to fly over to that area, line up with the connector and connect. This is the only thing. Well, there's two times that we actually have to fly this thing. This is one of them. So you will have to dock the first time wherever you want to set your home position to which is basically where you end up landing at your base or docking at your base so you're gonna to have to dock once Let's see there we go once you're docked go on and hit p and then come back in here and then we can hit record path and set home okay home was set then we can disconnect back up make sure you're not going to hit anything on your way out it will record your path here so don't worry if it's pretty tight that's per perfectly acceptable okay so that's good now we can move forward and we're just basically going to set up somewhere close-ish to where we want to mine making sure we don't hit the building here okay so this should be good and we're going to hit the i key Go into info and we will show sensors field range. There is a reason for that. We also need to go into the control panel here and find our sensor or PAM right here. And we're going to tell this one to show on HUD. There's a reason for that. You notice we can now see the sensor. When we come in here and we hit stop path recording, we can come to set up mining job and boom, we can actually see what our mining job set up as now. That's what this was all about. So let's fly up a little bit just see how high up this goes okay so we want to basically make this box here where we want to dig so we can move down a little bit uh let's see i want to go ahead and change the depth here we want it to be pretty deep so we're gonna go say let's pop it all the way up to like 80 meters that way we can go plenty deep and if we want to go deeper later we can uh the height is going to be front to back here so as you see 
as you increase height, it goes forward and back. And the width is going to be exactly what it sounds like width. So I'm going to go ahead and just adjust this until I get to the area that I want to dig and basically sit right on top of this area and then go to the ground. So let's see, we're pretty good on that one. Let's go up to width and we will control this. You notice how it goes green when something's in the way you right here believe it or not you don't want green that means something's you're basically going to hit something that's already there if you have green so i'm just basically lining this box up exactly how i want it without hitting anything and then we can hit the c button to move down and it should go red again if we're out of the area okay there we go and we're going to dig out this whole section here one little bit at a time I'm just going to come all the way down here just to make sure that none of the ground's above us. Good. And now that that's done, all I have to do is come up here to start a new job and boom, I can hop on out and it'll go about its business. Now I like to sit here through one full rotation and watch the ship to make sure it's going to do what it's supposed to do and that there's no issues with your job or anything like that it's always best just to be smart now the way we've got it set up right now in fact let me hop in and make sure this is all set up right uh dude i just ran out of fuel right as i landed on that thing that was safe or not safe okay so we're gonna go down into behavior settings and um we're gonna make sure ejections off toggle sorters is off if you want to eject you can but we're picking all this stuff up, so we're going to make sure those are off. All right, we're good on that. So I just come back to back. And I'm going to sit in here. And hit the V key so I can look on the outside here and just watch it do its job. Make sure it's going to go through one full round. And when it lands, uh, it's going to completely recharge the batteries. So I can hop out there. We should be safe-ish to drop out there. I don't think it'll kill us since we're out of fuel here. And just let it do its thing here and make sure it's going back to where it's supposed to go. And it's just gonna come pick up a load, drop it off, recharge, come pick up a load, drop it off, recharge. You can set this up specifically to do like an iron node. You can do any kind of node that you want really. If you can find the resource, you can just mine it and basically set it to where it doesn't hold on to any ice or stone if you want. But this is the best autopilot in the game, as you can see. It just remembers the path that you took and it goes in the exact reverse of that path and it's very, very precise. They did a wonderful job with this script. Okay, so now that that's going, we're going to let this do its job for a little while. I'm going to go ahead and probably add in another one or two of our build and repair systems so we can speed things up a little bit and I'm going to let the base build itself a little bit. I'm going to go on and paint the whole base white and just get everything that we've got placed here working since we're going to have a very solid iron connection here from all of the stone that we're picking up. And I'm going to do that in between videos. So the next video, we should be able to up production in the base quite a bit and think about building some stuff to maybe go to space and maybe go mine some raw iron, cobalt, nickel, all that fun stuff. Thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you haven't already, please drop a like to let me know that you did. Also, if you're new here and you haven't yet, subscribe Think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification to be alerted when new videos go live. If you like what you see and you want to see more, click one of the videos on your screen now. Thank you. Have a nice day.